All right, it's a formula. Every question uses the same formula. It's a proportion. A proportion are two ratios that equal each other. In the top left, this is how much it changed. I don't use that. This is how much it changes. Bottom left is get a different color. Bottom left is the original amount. Bottom left is the original. What was it before it changed? Top right is percent. And underneath percent always goes what? A hundred. How much it changes over how much it was. And then I'm going to change it into a percent. So, for example, if I had something that was 24 and now it is 30, let's find the percent of change. Step one. Step one. How much does it change? How did you find that? Subtract. So, step one. Find the difference. We use subtraction to do that. So 30 minus 24 is 6. So this goes here. Step 2. How much was it? before it changed. 24. It was 24. So the original, what came first? The 24 was first. This is the original. So that's going to go in the bottom left. Step three, we're going to set up our proportion. We're going to plug in what we know. Set up proportion. So I have equals blank. How much it changed goes here. That's six. How much was it goes here. That's 24. And then I have x over 100. x, because I don't know, and this is always 100. Yes. So, to solve the proportion, right here, circle, shh, circle the diagonal. Edit it. I'm recording. I'll talk to you in a minute. Circle the diagonal. 6 times 100. And we multiply those two numbers. Multiply. What is 6 times 100? 600. Circle the diagonal. The diagonal. After we multiply, what do we do? What do we do after we multiply? Divide. Divide. Which number got left out of the circle? 24. 24. So we leave him out of the house. So divide by 24. K 
Can 24 go into 6? Yes, no. 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 Can it go into 60? Yes. How many times? Five. Two. Two. That's 48. Four. That's 12. Four. Slow down a second. 120. 120. So 24 goes into 120 five times. Got it. So 5 times 24 is 120. So that 25 is the percent. I'm not quite done. The last step is super easy. The last thing you have to do is tell me if it went up or down. So, what did it start at? 24. 24. And then it went up or down? Up. Up. So, your last step, did it increase or decrease? Increase. That's all you got to say. Did it increase or decrease? This one was an increase. So it's a 25% increase. That's a basic straightforward one. Basic, straightforward. Find the difference. Cross, multiply, divide. Okay? There might be, I'll come back, but I'm going to go all the way down. Sometimes they'll tell you how much it changed, but they won't tell you the percent. So let's say if I have, I had 160 something. This says, I don't know, we'll say coconut. My hair smells like coconut. So 160 coconuts, and there was a 20% decrease. This is the original. So I started out, I had 160 coconuts, and then it's going to go down 20%. It stays basically the same. Do you know the original? Yes, 160. 160. So that goes here. Do you know the percent? Yes. So that goes here. This becomes my X. And what is the top left number? What? No, not the answer. What is it? How much it changes. So we're looking for change. This is how much it changes. That's what you're trying to figure out. We solve it the same. So what's 2 times 16? 32. 32. Add two zeros. Uh, 2,000. 3,200. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 200. 200. 3, 2, oh, yeah. 0, 0. So I multiply these two. And then I divide by what? 100. So divide by 100. So that's going to be 32. Now, this is not the answer. This 32 is how much it changes. So if it was 160 and it changes 32, it decreased, so it goes down. So what do you do with those two numbers? You divide it. Wait, hold on. Okay, wait. I started at 160. This tells me it's going to go down. I just found out it goes down 32 coconuts. So I have to do 160 coconuts minus the 32 coconuts that it decreased. So that's going to mean a subtract. So that's going to be 8, 2, 1. So now I have 128 coconuts.